Good evening, Facebook, YouTube, Daily Motion, and Twitter. This is Rich again, back for your third and final video vlog of the night for Tuesday, January 20th, 2015, around 8.37 p.m. in Belwick, Massachusetts. It's about 32 degrees out, freezing, go down into the mid-20s tonight, and tomorrow could be a sunny day, maybe some clouds and average temperatures. Some news to report, the WWE Royal Rumbles this Sunday in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, and there's rumors that surprise entrances will be WWE legends, the Dudley Boys, Bubba Ray and Devon Dudley. Both Bubba Ray and Devon are no, no longer under contract to TNA, so there's a possibility they'll be showing up as surprise entrants for the Royal Rumble. They've never participated in the Royal Rumble matchup. And they were in tag team matches when they were in the, in the WWE for the Royal Rumble card. So that will be very interesting. And that's about it on that. My third and final video blog subject of the night is about the TV game show 1 vs. 100. And it had two runs, 1 vs. 100. It was from October 13, 2006 through February 22, 2008 on NBC. That version was hosted by Bob Saget. And then there was another version from November 15, 2010 through January 11, 2011 on GSN. Carrie Ann in, in Barna hosted that. And 1 vs. 100 was one player facing off against 100 contestants, the mob, for a possible $1 million on the NBC version and on the GSN version, they could win a possible $50,000. And this is how the game was played for 1 versus 100. One contestant faced off against 100 mob members, which the mob could be people who with occupations. Many of them were teachers, valedictorians, professors, um, PhD members, plus they've had like meter maids, cops, firefighters, custodians, janitors, every occupation, plus they had celebrities as mod members from time to time. They had Ken Jennings, the winner of the winning contest in Jeopardy history, Bob Eubanks and Wink Martindale game show host were on one versus 100 from time. They have that few deal or new deal models. And they had Danny Bonaduce from Partridge, fam Partridge Family Fame on there. And this is how the old new, no deal was, I mean, one versus 100 was played. Um, the like contestant was answered a question and they had it uh, lock in their answer. And if they knew the answer they would lock it in like right if they knew the right answer if they didn't were unsure they had kind of two lifelines one was to trust the mob and to pull the mob and this was kind of lifelines and if they got the question right they stayed in the game and then they'll see which mob members were eliminated if they eliminated at least 10 mob members they would get at least $1,000 for each mob member. I mean, $1,000 for each mob member eliminated on the NBC version and at least $500 on the uh, GSN version. And it would like multiply each time they would um, get, get eliminated. If it's 20, they would get more money and stuff like that. And then they could quit at any time and take their earnings, but they could, they're could they playing for a risk. If they continued on, and if they got any question wrong, they would lose the money, plus the game was over, and the mob would split the money, um, what was not won. And this was a very interesting game and stuff like that. Decent ratings for the first year, and it came back for a second season on NBC briefly. It, and in the first episode of the second season on NBC, the brief second season, they had a battle of, a sex, of the sexes night. 
the first, like there were two games played. One was with one lady facing against one hundred mob members who were the who were male, and they had special video questions from Barry Williams, who was who played Greg Bet Lady on the Brady Bunch, and and the second half they had one man who played against one hundred women, and they had special questions from Don Wells, who was. Marianne on Gilligan's Island, and the man won the one million dollars on that on that game, and that was the only one million dollar winner on one versus one hundred. NBC canceled one versus one hundred in February of two thousand eight due to low ratings. It was pretty not good because one versus one hundred was capitalizing on deal on no deal, which was on NBC, and it was a decent kit. And I'm surprised it got canceled because it was a very good game show, in my opinion. Bob Saget was pretty good as host. And reruns of 1 vs. 100 were shown on GSN during like 2009, 2010, and they got highly rated. So, and so GSN decided to make its own version of 1 vs. 100 with Carrie Ann and Barna as host with like a smaller payoff which was potentially fifty thousand dollars and all the mob members were now on like playing it on skype and that was pretty good and you know it only lasted about a few months before um one versus 100 was canceled completely but we run still won gsn for a few more years of both versions and so they were taken off in 2014 but they could return at any time I would not be surprised if GSN has um, 1 vs. 100 back on reruns in the near future because they're probably going to be losing the rights to John O'Hurley's family feud within a few months because of that new buzzer over the air digital game show, that digital over the air game show network which will be in markets in the June time. So. Yeah, I have the home um, DVD of 1 vs. 100, which is pretty good. It was a great game that should have had a couple year run on NBC. And that's about it on that. I'll be back later. Facebook friends and YouTube followers with three more video blocks tomorrow. First video block will be the top 10 greatest Colorado Rockies pitchers of all time. And then my 1997 WWE Royal Rumble review from San Antonio, Texas, where the main event was the heartbreak hit Shawn Michaels facing off against Psycho Sid for the WWE Championship and a very controversial ending to the 1997 Royal Rumble. I can't, I can't spoil it for you. And the third and final video blog of the night will be about the first of the of the Super Bowl dynasty teams during the Super Bowl era of the NFL. And I'm talking about the Pittsburgh Steelers. And coming soon to these video blogs will be the top 10 greatest um, Diamondbacks players and pitchers Saturday and Sunday. And next week, the top 10 will be back up and running almost every day I'll be doing the top 10 Wrestlemania matches of all time and top 10 mass wrestlers of all time and the top 10 San Diego Padres pitchers and players of all time there's going to be video blogs about personality profiles later on this week about former Major League Baseball player Alex Burks and Louie Anderson and coming in February the personality profiles will be about because honoring Black History Month of several famous African American people from the world of professional wrestling, from the world of Major League Baseball and the NBA and NHL and and the NFL. And sooner or later, Julie Broughton and Heidi Pratt's video blogs will be coming. Two cute ladies with nice legs. Good night, Facebook, YouTube, Daily Motion, and Twitter. See you tomorrow.